Salams all. I hope all is well. Everyone's probably on holiday mode now. Um, you've you've got a week before the new year, and the new year tends to be a time when we reset our mental clock. We set our goals for the following year, and um, hopefully, I will send out another podcast podcast about goals goal setting. But I want it in this week. What I wanted you to think about is what is it. What is it between people about why some people are able to make huge goals and some people aren't? Okay, what is the difference between people? Why can some people dream big and some people cannot dream big, they dream small? small. One of the guys I've always spoken about to you is Elon Musk. When we've met up in our days and uh, in the mornings sometimes when, when I give you a talk, I've always spoken about Elon Musk. I think this guy's amazing, just his mindset, his foresight his drive, his passion, his ambition, I think it's huge. Uh, when someone someone, when someone when possibly asks us what our goals are, maybe it's going to be to lose weight, to get fitter, to have a better marriage, to be happier, to have more money. When someone asked him what his goals were, you know what he said? He said, my goal is to establish a city on Mars. But I'm not... I'm not too concerned about that because because uh, all of my SpaceX flights are all geared towards that. So I know I'm going to get that. Well, my main concern is once we're on Mars, how am I going to get internet connection over there? Because the angulation of my satellites, when this because the sun will be at this angle, we're going to have trouble getting getting it to work. And can when I heard that, I was wow. I thought, what a person. These are his goals and his worry at the moment. is isn't about even getting people on Mars. It's about how he's going to get internet connection up there. And the thing is, he said, I don't even care if I don't succeed. I know I will, but I don't care if I don't. Because this is my, this is my dream. And this is what I'll do. Now, they asked him, why is it so important to you? He goes, you know, my worry is that what happens if one day Earth becomes inhabitable? What if something happens on Earth? Where are we all going to go? Where are we all going to go? It's not just something for him. He's looking at every, every single person on this planet. Why is it that some people can dream so big? And do you know what I think it is? Is I think it's the people we spend the most amount of time with. It's the people around us. It's our peers who are the ones who are going to make us cuss or they're going to be the ones who are going to break us. You know, when when Elon Musk was involved in PayPal, he was surrounded around people with big dreams, people like Peter Thiel and other people like that who had huge dreams. And they allowed him to think big. These people are no limit people, right? How many people in our lives do we have who are no limit people? But most of those people in our lives, a lot of them tend to be negative people. They tend to be people who kind of hold us back, who we can't even tell them what our dreams are because possibly they'll laugh at us, they'll they'll make fun of us, and we have to dumb ourselves down in front of most people we're with. We're with. You know, what if we surrounded ourselves with people who actually believed in us? People, even if they didn't believe in us, they told us that it's possible. It's possible. You know, the dream is possible. You know, most most negative people are people who failed in their dream and they want to rob you of yours, right? You know, when Elon Musk sold PayPal, PayPal he made about $180 million. He plowed all of that money into his next projects and he had to borrow money for rent. And things, you know, people like this, they believe in their cause. They believe in their cause so much. You know, if we want, if we surround ourselves with positive people, with people who are going to push us, then that's the first step. The second step is, why is it that people don't take action? And you know, I feel there's three types of people in this world. There are people who know they will do something, people who know they won't do something, and then there's kind of the people in the middle, the no man's land syndrome that they call it. These people are in doubt. And you know the problem at, problem at doubt is it kind of sucks it out of you. That when you're doubting all the time, you just don't move forward. The second reason I think is, you know, generally I think we people, we're kind of addicted to our problems. Whenever we talk, we always want to talk about our problems. And then do you know what they say? That the more you talk about something, it gets magnified and that, and that's more of what comes into your life. You know, you do need to talk to some people about your problems, right? Because there are some people who will help you. But the majority of people, they don't really care. 80% of the people you tell your problems to, they don't really care. And 20% are happy it's you. Why do we even bother talking about our problems? 
you know, the way we're going to move forward is if we see a future which is more compelling than the present. Studies at the moment, especially in the US, have shown that most people don't see a better quality of life for them or their kids than they have now. And you know, if you can't see a better see a better future, then then it's going to be very difficult to take action. I think we need to become a little more optimistic in life. You know, they say that an optimist, they say a pessimist is 10 times more likely to be right about a certain task than an optimist. But the optimist is five times more likely to succeed in life, succeed in life than a pessimist. And the question is why? You know, pessimists see things the way it is. So because of that, they don't push themselves. Where optimists see things better than they are. So because of that, they tend to believe in themselves more. They push themselves more. They achieve a hell of a lot more than pessimists do. You know, life is in your, is in your hands, guys. You know, what, the one thing you need to realize is life doesn't happen to you, life happens for you. I want to share a story with you which kind of illustrates this purpose really well. There, was, there were two kids and they found out about this guru who lives high up in the, in the mountains. And this guru, people would go to him to un, uh, with any questions and he would answer them. He would give them the answer that they needed. So these two kids thought, you know, let's have a bit of a laugh. Let's go and try and confuse this guru and let's see what answer he gives to us. So what they done is one of the boys got a very small bird. He got the bird and he put it in, put it in his hand and they walked up the, walked up the mountain and they reached the guru's house. They knocked on the door and the guru came out. They said, guru, we got a question for you, okay? We've got this bird in our hand. And what I want you to tell me is whether the bird is alive or whether the bird is dead. The guru thinks about it and goes, you know, boys, this is life and I can't answer you. I can't tell you the answer. And the boys go, why? He goes, you know, I told you this is about life. The reason I said that is because, you know, if I told you that the bird is dead, all you will do is you'll open your hand out and you let, and you let the bird fly. And if I told you the bird is alive, what you'll do is you'll close your fist just that little bit tighter and you'll kill the bird. And then the bird will be dead. See guys, that's what life's about. It's in your hands. No one else is pulling the strings. Life, life happens for you. Life doesn't happen to you. And when you realize that, you realize that problems in life are just life's way of strengthening you for the next chapter of your life. Have an awesome week. A week with your family, with your friends, with yourself. And have a think about the goals you want to set for 2017 and hopefully we'll catch up before then. Have a great week.